Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here with TRQ. And in today's episode, we're gonna be going through the diagnosis and repair of the P0118 code. And the information in this video will also apply to P0117 and P0119. So if you have any of those codes, keep watching. We're gonna show you how to fix it. I plugged in the scan tool and come up with the P0118 code. In fact, I have two of these in here, and that code stands for Engine Coolant Temperature Sensor 1 Circuit High. The P0117 code is Circuit Voltage Low. The P0119 code is Circuit Voltage Intermittent. Now, this vehicle has a few symptoms to go along with this code. Let's look at those now. The symptom this vehicle exhibits, as soon as you start it up, the cooling fan turns on and it goes to high. It shouldn't do that unless the air conditioning is on or the engine warms up to operating temperature. This gives me the idea that this likely has something to do with a coolant temperature sensor. One of the things I like about this code is that you can start your diagnosis right from the driver's seat with a scan tool in your hand. If you have a scan tool with data capability, I pull up the engine coolant temperature sensor and the intake air temperature sensor and I compare the two. They're both temperature sensors and they should read about the same with the engine off and the key on. And in this case, the engine coolant temperature sensor is reading minus 38 degrees Fahrenheit and the intake air temperature sensor is reading 78 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a big difference. There's one more thing that I noticed. This vehicle is equipped with an outside temperature sensor and that says it's 73 degrees so the fact that the intake air temperature sensor that sensor which is a separate sensor says that we're looking at about 75 78 degrees and the coolant temperature sensor says minus 38 degrees who do we think is the problem I'm saying the coolant temperature sensor I'm going to begin my diagnosis here at the coolant temperature sensor, which on this engine is located on this left side cylinder head. And already I see an issue. You see that wire going into the connector, how it's broken right there? Well, I believe that to be the problem in this case. Okay, even though this has a broken wire, I'm going to show you how to check the resistance in the sensor to see if the sensor is good or not. I'm going to set my multimeter to check resistance. And I'm just taking the leads of my multimeter and touching them to the terminals of the coolant temperature sensor. Now checking the resistance of the sensor, I can see 0.722 kilo ohms, and that is some resistance. Uh, if this were an open circuit, it would be infinite. You wouldn't have any resistance at all. Or if it was shorted to ground or something like that, there would be zero resistance. But the fact that there's some resistance gives me some indication that the coolant temperature sensor is working. Our coolant temperature sensor has some resistance in it, and we found that broken wire. Therefore, I think that broken wire is our problem. I'm gonna repair it, we're gonna recheck it, and see if we still have the problem. The broken wire being so close to the connector is gonna be very difficult to repair. However, we were able to find this, which is a completely new connector that we can just wire into the existing wiring. Let's do that now. Now that we've completed the repair, let's clear the codes and see what we've got. Now that we've cleared the codes, I've pulled up the data stream with both the coolant temperature sensor and the intake air temperature sensor, and things have already improved. The engine coolant temperature sensor now reads 113 degrees Fahrenheit, and the intake air temperature is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. We had the engine running a little bit while ago, so that makes sense that that would be a little warmer than ambient air, but I'd say it's fixed. Let's start it up and find out. The check engine light is out, the engine is running, and the cooling fan is off. That's exactly what we wanted. I'm gonna call this one fixed. If you have a P0117, P0118, or P0119, the information in this video is gonna help you get that fixed. Thank you so much for watching today. I'm Eric the Car Guy with TRQ. Additional information down in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. I'll see you next time. When only the best will do, demand TRQ the only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.